the survivors that we follow in Gulu and in other parts of Uganda, we view these people as the blessed ones, those that have the gold in their blood that enabled them to survive this serious disease. However, society, interestingly, views them as the cursed ones, or pariahs. And so these survivors actually have a very hard time reintegrating into society. At the Gulu Hospital, Caroline and some of the other survivors have gathered to meet the researchers. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This group of people, you, are the only people in the whole world who have been followed up after having had Ebola for a long time. So we have come again to find out whether your antibodies are still at the same level or whether there is a decline. I believe by now you know what the antibodies are. So it is like your body goes to war with whatever foreign body has got into your body. So when we find out which ones are able to stop the enemy, then we will be able to use those to provide uh, security for other people. Leslie and his team believe the antibodies in Caroline's blood and that of the other survivors could hold one of the keys to beating Ebola. The basic premise of what we're doing is to take blood from the survivor group, identify those with the strongest immune response, isolate the antibodies from their blood that will kill the virus, reproduce it in our lab, and produce a therapeutic from that. We're also studying the long-term effects of Ebola virus on the immune system, or the persistence of immunity in Ebola virus survivors. When the team began the study of survivors, they hoped that it could lead to a cure. You got infected in the hospital. He said, if we get enough information, if we get enough knowledge, then probably this, probably this knowledge could be used either by us or by some other people to come up with a vaccine or come up with a drug that can be used. 